Hi, and welcome to another episode of More to Advertising here at dailyadbrief.com. My next guest on here is Steve Romeberry, who works at a uh, pretty neat company running, I think, over $40 billion of ads through them uh, called Operative. They work with uh, media companies, and they're really trying to shape the future of the way that uh, advertising is run at those organizations. Steve, thanks for, yeah, thanks for being on the show. Hey, Jeff, I appreciate you letting me jump on. Yeah. So give us the quick overview of what your company does. So Operative has been the gold standard of um, ad automation from the order management side. So we work with the largest media companies in the world, um, and the names include companies like Fox and um, Hulu, Disney, uh, Sinclair, and all the way down to the publisher level to include shops like Vox and Wall Street Journal and Boston Globe. And so it's it's a combination of uh, tech solutions that provide an ops model. So and it has been around for an, over 14 years. So we've had a very collective great run of success. And but we see this new change coming down the path. And this is what I think we want to jump down and talk about. Yeah, like I really want to. So it's interesting because on your website, you can see like, hey, like, you know, if you're talking about radio or TV uh, uh, broadcasters, they're doing from GRPs to really kind of results driven data and information and the way that you run things. So how is operative spearheading the future of, of how media companies run their advertising? So let's, which is a really great question, but let me give you a little context of kind of what's happening in the space. So there's this convergence of delivery happening today. So as you know, still the gold standard on the linear side of ad delivery is TV. I mean, it's about 67 billion in 2022. We'll talk about OTT and CTV as it's growing through the process, which is pretty, pretty strong growth, especially during and post pandemic, because we were all home, right? So um, that's a big growth component, but there's still this model of this linear delivery, plus this huge growth on the digital side. So it's the ability for, um, uh, advertisers to actually uh, buy ads. How do I actually place those ads in a cost-effective manner using the best technology available to me today? And part of that technology is is an automated piece as well, right? So you guys try to automate that process a little bit. How do you go about doing the automation side of things? So it's it's basically a two-step process. Um, The first piece of our um, equation is data data understanding or data transparency. What's happening with your delivery today? What, where is it being delivered? How is it being delivered? How effective is that delivery? So understanding what's happening in the space. And then the bigger component, which is the order management side or order, order management system, and ours is AOS, which is the, our latest version coming off of our operative one, which has been, again, back to the gold standard delivery. Um, this the latest, greatest ability to actually converge the delivery in one platform. So right now, typically a lot of groups are ordering uh, ads through different siloed platforms, and it's kind of a vertical delivery model. So if I'm buying TV ads versus digital ads, it's two different teams. It's two different systems. It's swivel chair model. It's all the issues that these uh, ad ops have struggled with and have struggled with for years. So the the model has become this new delivery that we call AOS and it stands for ad operating system. Um, And what that does is it can, it allows for the journey of convergence to begin. And it's an actually working platform where you can actually run and combine the elements uh, into one single platform from a delivery side. So once I place the order in the order management side, it can then execute that push or that, that placement of that ad in multiple formats. Yeah. And, and it's, it's, it's wild in this day and age where there's so much value in so many different places that just having it in one place is one of the most valuable things you can do. So you can actually have a holistic view of what's actually going on. Oh, look, I, I think people have to start this understanding and journey of this convergence play because it's not a matter of if, it's when. And we think the shops that understand that can look at technology that can scale to their growth and scale to their uh, the, the dynamic nature of how ads are being placed and what ads am I going to place? So it's it's a uh, it's a pretty interesting space. It's hugely growth oriented and it's global in scale, um, and it's a lot of fun. 
I love it. Thanks for being on the show, Steve. Jeff, I appreciate you. Thanks. Absolutely. And thank you for watching this show. We're going to have all of Steve and Operative's information um, at dailyadbrief.com. So if this is an area that interests you to like follow along, see what they have going on, because they're definitely at the forefront of this type of kind of hubbing technology for these large media companies, uh, which then, even if you're a small uh, company, will eventually hopefully trickle down into, the, into your realm in a couple of different ways as well, too. But they're definitely a thought leader in that space. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Simplify presents Addressable CTV, combining the power of TV with the targeting and attribution of digital. Simplify's Addressable CTV delivers massive reach with the ability to scale without sacrificing precision. TV buyers can generate incremental reach with household level targeting, frequency controls, reporting, and insights. To learn more about Simplify's addressable CTV and what it can do for your clients, visit simply.fi.